Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. Today I have this glam makeup look. I feel like it's been forever since I last wore eyelashes and I'm kind of loving it. Um, but if you would like to see how I got this entire makeup look, then please keep watching. But before we get into the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that I have an exclusive 25% off code with Cult Beauty. All of the products that I've used to create this look are from Cult Beauty and they currently have a 20% off running on their website until the end of the 30th of November, which is this Wednesday, but I have a 25% off code for you guys. So an extra 5% off. It is Koshal CB. I will leave it on the screen and the details of it will be linked below. So please go and check it out if there's anything that you've got your eye on or if there's anything that you need a top up of or even any Christmas gifts, this is the perfect time to save some money. And you guys know how much I love cult beauty. So now that I've got that out of the way, if you would like to see how to get this glam makeup look, then please keep watching. So to start this look, my brows are already filled in and I used a combination of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze and the Urban Decay Brow Blade to make them all fluffy and fill them in. First things first, I'm gonna start off with skin prep and I'm gonna go in with an eye cream. So I'm gonna take the Bison Squalene and Marine Algae eye cream and get that onto all of my under eyes and a little bit on the top of my eyebrows as well, just so that everything's nice and hydrated. I love this eye cream because it sinks so beautifully into my skin. For moisturizer, I'm gonna take the Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Moisturizer. I've always wanted to try this. I think Summer Fridays is such a beautiful skincare brand. It's got a very beautiful, lightweight gel finish and I know this is gonna keep my skin really nice and hydrated underneath the makeup. Still one more step left for the skincare and I'm gonna take the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Nice in my Dew Drops just to add a little bit of dew and extra hydration to my skin. As you can see, my skin is looking nice and hydrated and juicy and glowy, but I am gonna wait a couple of minutes just to let that sink into my skin before I move on to the base. I've let that sit for a few minutes and now I'm gonna prime. And if you are new to this channel, then you won't know my favorite primer and that is actually the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So I'm gonna take this setting spray and spray that all over my face and this is gonna act like almost a double-sided sticky tape for all the other makeup that I apply on top. Easy as that, my skin is all primed and now I'm gonna move on to my base. And for my base, I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Foundation in the shade Light Medium 14 and then the Say Glow Super Gel in the shade Star. Glow to add a little bit of a luminosity to my skin. I'm gonna make sure it's all nice and blended using my damp beauty blender all over my skin to make sure it's looking nice and melted in. My skin looks so, so, so skin-like. I'm gonna zoom you in and show you guys. It looks so natural and I am shooting with a lot of natural light and just a couple of um, lights from my like little light, but as you can see, it just looks so stunning in real life, love it. Moving on to concealer. So I'm gonna take the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer and get that onto my under eyes. I am using a mixture of two different shades here. I'm using custard and vanilla mixed together just to get that brightening effect that I like underneath my eyes and the usual areas that I like to conceal and brighten my face. I love this concealer so much. It literally covers everything and it's still really lightweight and natural looking on the skin. To set the concealed areas in place, I'm taking the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder and just getting a very thin layer of that onto the areas that I applied that concealer. For bronzer, I'm taking the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Bronzer and getting that onto the usual areas that I like to look bronzed and sun-kissed and just glowy and natural. Moving on to blush, I'm gonna take one of my favorite brands and I might be biased because Jamie is a friend of mine, but I'm taking the Vive Blush in Cherub and getting that onto the apples of my cheeks and every time I see any kind of Eve products on Cult Beauty it makes me so 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 proud of her. A little goes a long way with this blush so I'm just taking the foundation end of my beauty blender and just kind of going over and toning any kind of areas down very slightly. Time to add some glow and I'm going to take the Jouer highlighter in the shade Citrine and get that onto the usual areas that I want to brighten and highlight my face. I am actually obsessed with how this skin has turned out. I love it, it's just the right amount of glam. It's still very natural at the same time. Love it. So for eyes, I wanna keep things super simple but still very glam at the same time. I feel like a lot of my makeup looks these days are simple and glam, especially when I do wanna go glam. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Bronzer and get that onto the crease of my eyelids. And this is just gonna add a very natural, subtle kind of 
colour in the crease and it's going to complement the rest of the face as well. To make my brown eyes pop, I love using purples and greens. Today I'm going to use a green and I'm going to take the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow in the shade Vivid and get that all over my eyelids and make sure everything's nice and blended out and looking nice and seamless. Adding a little bit of that bronzer to my lower lash line. And this just ties in the whole look together. For mascara, I'm gonna take my NYX On The Rise Volume Lift Mascara. And I'm gonna make sure there's a nice coating on both my top and lower lashes. You know what? I was gonna put some Samantha lashes on on top, but I kind of feel like this eye looks really beautiful just how it is. So I might see, I might just like leave it like this. So now it's time for the lips. And I'm gonna take the Vive Lip Liner in the shade Brat and get that all over them. And on top of that, I'm gonna go over with the Vive Lip Dew in the shade Rosa, which I think is like one of my favorite shades ever. I'm just gonna add a little bit more of the All Nighter Setting Spray just to make sure it's all locked into place. And then I feel like this has been out of stock for so long and I wanted to try this out. This is the Fable & Main Holy Roots Hair Oil Mist. And I sprayed it on a little bit earlier and it's just, it smells incredible. It's like a hair perfume and a hair oil in one, and it just adds this gorgeous shine to the hair. I had to pop on the lashes because I just wanted to see what it looks like, and I think it looks even more glam. And you could totally wear this look without lashes as well, but I did pop the Samantha lashes on top. But this is the final makeup look using all Cult Beauty products. Please don't forget to check out my Cult Beauty code, which is a total of 25% off. On their website, it's only 20, but you get an extra 5% off with me. I will leave it on the screen as well. A massive thank you to Cult Beauty for partnering up with me for this video. It is one of my favorite websites to shop on. If you go through any of my old videos, you'll know just how much I love, love, love shopping there. But yeah, I think that is everything from me if I have missed anything out it will be in the description box below I do hope you like this makeup look and yeah that's all from me I'm sending all of the love from my heart to you guys and I'll see you all in my next video bye